Science happens all around us, and for hundreds of Macaulay Honors College sophomores, science is a walk in the park. Barry Mitchell has that story. Please roll it. Beautiful, lush Inwood Hill Park on the northernmost tip of Manhattan. That's the Hudson River and Henry Hudson Bridge connecting Manhattan and the Bronx. The park contains one of only two salt marshes in Manhattan and the largest remaining natural forest in the borough. It's an encyclopedia of living organisms large and small, the perfect habitat for a bio blitz. Bio blitz, learning about microbes and stuff. A BioBlitz in general is a 24-hour or a specific time period snapshot of the biodiversity in a particular location. At Macaulay, we have an annual BioBlitz every year where our students go out to a specific urban green space. We team them up with scientists and they find as many species as possible that live in that space at that particular 24-hour period. The whole point of today is biodiversity. How do we measure biodiversity? We look at how abundant organisms are and then how many of those organisms are present. We're going to look for bats pretty deep into the park. There's another group that's looking for mammals. I think we have a salamanders group, maybe some fish. My uh, background and training is in uh, evolutionary ichthyology. So I study fish biology, uh, fish behavior, and more recently I've become involved in um, doing a lot of survey work in citizen science with regards to specifically fish in the Hudson River. Make sure they're in the bucket when they're counted. Eight, eight, nine, ten. We found blue crab, Atlantic silverside, and striped bass, and we tallied up the different species that we found today. Macaulay students who are distributed on eight CUNY campuses um, all have a common seminar series that they take during their first two years of college. Um, and one of them is Science Forward, which they take in the fall of their sophomore year. The BioBlitz is part of that course, and it is a course about um, scientific literacies, the philosophy of science, and the basic skills that scientists have across all disciplines of work. For BioBlitz, I was in the Beetle Group on Saturday, and we would hike up at Inwood Hill Park and then collect different species of beetles and use large nets to like, catch them through trees and leaves. When we want to identify something that we found at the park, we'll use an app called iNaturalist, and in simplest terms, it's basically facial recognition, but for bugs instead of people. Once you take a picture, and we have a picture of a beetle as an example, so if you hit Next, you can see that they'll give you suggestions as to what species this specific specimen could belong in. Once we enter all of the paper data, then we'll have the full species list, and then we make that open to all of our students and, and to the public. And then the students use those data in our class called Science Forward to engage with the process of science and do their own research project. Lichen and moss, very interesting. Lichen are basically a symbiotic relationship between a fungus and an algae or cyanobacteria growing together. We're testing the salinity and the water temperature, and maybe later we'll get to test the uh, oxygen levels in the water to give us a good measure of the health of the river and the, and the river environment. Having worked on six bio blitzes and having had the opportunity to take nearly 3,000 students into New York City parks and help them see what's there and become excited and more um, thoughtful about the world around them um, has been, you know, extremely gratifying. You know, has it really even changed the way that I think about the city and interact with it? It's great to see that here in, in Manhattan, on Manhattan Island, we're still so close to the natural ecosystem. We're all part of one ecosystem together. Barry Mitchell, Urban U.